Corkies, my sweet, sweet <laughs> Corkies. I don't even deserve to come and create any excitement and call in the dark because I have been in my A for couple months now and i won't come back with any excuse and say no i'll do better and all of that just know that i'm really sorry all right i'm really sorry i'm really sorry but let me stop with my sub story now and get into the video so you guys i'm not sure if you saw but i posted on instagram some pictures from my birthday back in december if you don't follow me on instagram you should at quirky skirt but anyways i posted these pictures on instagram a few months ago and a lot of you guys wanted to know how I got my hair to look this way. Not a lot, but you know, people did want to know, alright? Some persons wanted to know. And me being me, luckily, I, I filmed it before. So I filmed me doing my hair before. I actually attempted this back in, I think, 2017. I'm not sure I can insert some pictures of that, but it, it did fail. It never looked too good. It never looked too proper. But luckily this time it actually came out good so stay tuned and watch the tips i learned from the last time so stay tuned and see all of the tips and the tricks and everything but don't forget me here looking somewhat nice all right <laughs> Uh, so the first thing that I did was start off on stretched hair and I'm using these it's actually sponge rods it's not really perm rods but it's sponge rods I'm not sure if you guys know about these I actually never knew about it until I got them in Cayman but they work so why not but I, if you have perm rods I think it, they're we call that substitutable if that's a word locks <laughs> we need to forget about school <laughs> this quarantine thing uh, Again, to my brain, but anyways, so you can use perm rods, sponge rods, flexi rods, just use some sort of rod, all right. <laughs> so, I start off on stretched hair, and I'm using I think this is cream of nature. I'll put all of the information you know, the usual in the description box below, all right. So, I use that. And this was my first attempt, alright? So, I never remember what I did before. But I tried, you know, may I try a little thing. So, the first one I did, and you guys are gonna see what happened to this last one. Yeah, yeah. So that was the first one which was kind of like the guinea pig of my whole hair <laughs> so the first one never come out too properly but I did the second one and this time I tried I realized that the first one it was loose at the roots so this time I tried twisting the first half of what do you call that the section I guess so you see me twisting from the roots to go down. I don't twist all the way down, but I twist it like halfway or a quarter of the way down. And then I applied the mousse. And then I rolled the... I, I, I paid extra attention to the ends of my hair because I realized that the ends... If anywhere don't curl, the ends have to curl for it to look defined. So I decided to go for my gel because I realized the ends weren't as smooth as I wanted it to be so I went for my handy dandy eco styler gel. So again I tried the third one this time. Oh it's not the third one, I did some before. <laughs> so I tried this one so it was like a quarter of the way into my hair. I realized that I needed the gel. So I twisted the roots as usual. It's the same thing. So it's basically doing everything over and over in different sections. So I twisted the roots of my hair. 
as you can see like so and then I applied the gel only to the ends of my hair because it's just the ends I wanted to be smooth because I don't really trust eco style in all of my hair like that and this is a wash and go and this is not a wash and go so I put it at the ends of my hair and if you look you realize how smooth it was and I ensure that my hair is detangled all through So as you guys can see, after I apply the eco salad gel to the ends of my hair, I take my time and make sure I start from the ends and I smooth the ends of my hair around the rod and then I roll it upwards. So I smooth the ends of my hair, make sure the ends of my hair are smooth, like that's really important, on the perm rods and then I wrap my, the rest of my hair around the rod. In it's the only downside I'd say to these sponge rods the amount of time that part that I'm supposed to use to close the rods on my hair the amount of time it drop out but anyways i skipped to the last one thank the lord i think this took me like 35 minutes or more probably 45 somewhere around there but yeah audio jungle So when I'm unraveling my hair, what I do, I like to hold the hair as I unravel. I'm not sure if you guys see, so that it do manhandle. <laughs> you know, you don't want to manipulate it too much. So you hold it in place while you unravel the hair. And <laughs>
so let me explain what happened here. I got too nosy, so I had it in the perm mods for I think three days or so, and it was on the second day or the third day. I had it in for three to four days, I'm not sure. But I pull out one of them, this one at the back beforehand to test to see if it was dry. It wasn't dry, so I said, alright, I'm going to put it up back. And then this is what happened when I actually do it. <laughs> this is me looking at it and reali real realization hit. I used to be trying to bounce it up back to make it curl or something, but it just never does work. Like, hello? <laughs> I was baffled, okay? Because I mean, look at the rest of my hair compared to this one. May I do this over? Cause... I tried pulling it out, pulling it apart to see if you know, somehow magically it would occur. But then it just, it just did it. So I decided, alright, I'm going to leave it, move on to the rest. Now I'm going to make it get me down. Let me move on. It's just one, right? Only for me. To pull out and remove the last one and realize that it's the same thing happened but this one I never pull out this one so I don't under remember the first one that I did and it never do so proper yeah this is that one it never come out proper at all look at it look at those look at it <laughs> I tried saving it and Bantu not in it I think I, I put back the permanent in one and then I bantu knotted one of them. Yeah, that's what I did. I actually went on the road with my hair looking like that and then came home back in the afternoon in the evening and it was soon time to do the photo shoot so what I'm doing now so I oil my hands as usual so it's not um, fritzy and I separate each curl so I just find the remember I twisted the roots so I'm separating that so I'm separating the twists and the ends of my hair to make the curls more fluffy, more volume. So I do that, I go through each curl, each twist and separate that. And then after doing that, I separate the ones that are separated. You know, you just at this point now you can't just fluff it as much as you'd like. I wanted big hair. Usually I'd prefer definition because my hair already has vol volume, volume, <laughs> my hair already has volume, but I wanted it to be big. So you can go on my channel and check out my other video. I have a more in-depth video of me fluffing my hair, not this hairstyle, but it's the same technique basically. So I fluffed my hair a little more after this last footage and uh, here are some behind the scenes I guess of the photo shoot that I did in December. Some unseen pictures are in this video, I never post all of them on Instagram and some behind the scenes from the photo shoot. So enjoy, <laughs> thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for being so loyal and faithful and kind and nice and Thank you for sticking around and you'll definitely be seeing more of me. Stay safe, stay, oh my gosh, stay safe, <laughs> my crickies. Have a good one. Audio jungle.